morning and welcome to Frontier Regional School. Tonight, the Frontier Red Hawks, their home opener, independent matchup against the Palmer Panthers. Hi again, everyone. Welcome to another season of Frontier Red Hawk football. Chris Collins along with Emilio Dodonna. Kevin Murphy is our field producer. And we are here tonight for a very interesting matchup, Emilio. A game that's scary if you're Coach Don Gordon for Frontier a little bit because it's kind of a sleeper game. Uh, Palmer is a team coming in out of the Tri-County League, and they like to throw the ball and pass coverage for Frontier has been a bit of a question mark. So. Yep, this game could go either way. Each side has different weapons and different talents. Palmer comes in with a record of 2-0, Frontier 1-1. One one. Uh, they defeated Pittsfield on the road with a comeback, and the Frontier Redhawks lost last week in overtime to Greenfield in a thrilling game. And it looks like... Palmer wins the toss and defers, so the Red Hawks will get the ball to start. And so the offense will get first crack at it. I think it's important for Frontier, if at all possible, to get out to a lead early against this Palmer team. Yeah, and that really all depends on if they can stop Palmer's passing game, which has been strong this season. That's correct. And the last guy, uh, the, the, the Palmer quarterback, uh, Jeff Pardo, he's a junior, uh, threw for 120 yards last time out. So. Like I said, the Frontier this week has been working extra hard on their pass defense. They're going to need it because they are going to have a, a, a challenge on their hands to this deal with this strong Palmer passing game. We're going to rise now for our national our anthem, anthem. Playing our national anthem on opening night in South Deerfield. Here we go for Frontier. As has been the case the last few years, their running game is their strongest weapon. And it got a little stronger this year with a pickup they weren't expecting. Bryce Dobas, who was for a number of years uh, one of the big keys behind the running game for the Pioneer Panthers transfer to Frontier this year. And they already had Steve Wordley and Aaron Landry coming back. They had lost Gawanter to graduation, and there was some question whether Bryce Dobas was going to be able to play because they don't often let transfers play uh, for a season, but he won his appeal, and they have a three-headed monster in the backfield. We'll see uh, if that three-headed monster can get on a leash tonight and what kind of run defense Palmer has. But, but uh, Dobas has been the guy in the red zone this year already for Frontier in their first two games. Frontier's always had a strong run game, and this year it's been replenished. It has addition. been replenished. The question becomes how to best use these guys. With that kind of speed, you'd be thinking mostly sweeps and counters, but they've been running the ball off tackle a lot, so we'll see if that strategy changes tonight. Bomber's about to boot it away, and we are underway. Kind of a short kick picked up at about the 30-yard line. Run back up the middle and brought down by either Wordley or Landry and about the 46-yard line, which is where it's going to start. I'm sorry, the 49-yard line, excuse me. That was a better return than I thought. About a 19-yard return, so first and 10 from the 49 for Frontier. Correction, that would be the 40. 
Yeah, I thought I line. thought we were. I thought I had it right the first time. Forty-six yard line. So here we go. Matt Hildreth under center with a full house backfield. And the snap. It's a, actually, it's a handoff around end again to Wordley. Vaults over a tackler, and he is up at about the 47 yard. It was designed as an inside handoff, but cut outside and works to their strengths. Five, it'll be second and five. Second and five at about the 46. Excuse me, at about the 48. Wordly on a carry. Wordly again's got the first down. down at the Power running's been effective so far, and if they can keep it at going at this rate, they'll be in for a good well, game. One of the question marks has been the size of the frontier line and whether or not they, they have the size to be able to blow up in the kind of holes they need to get that kind of yardage so far not a problem goes to Landry on a counter left side sweep Aaron first Landry. down yardage and more off to the races and he is out of bounds well into Pioneer Landry. or Palmer territory outside running is going to be the key to this Palmer, game for both teams line, Red Hawks first and goal that is good for a 30 yard pickup for Aaron Landry First and goal from the 10. So, so far, so good for the Frontier ground First offense. First goal from the Palmer five-yard line. First and goal from the 10. Again, the give. We're going to get the outside. Wordly, Wordly is brought down about a yard ahead of the line of scrimmage. And they're going to give him, I think, probably one yard. Once again, that seemed like a bit of a broken play, Emilio. You had to sort of work to the outside. Second and goal from the That's the first bad one they've Panthers had this game. So, you know, for every three, there's one bad. It's not going to so be that bad. Second and goal from the nine. Nine, 12 to go, quarter number one. And the Red Hawks nine, are nine, knocking nine. at the second door from the nine. of the goal line. On this, the first home game. A lot of home games this year. A lot of home Friday night games this year for the Red Hawks. Just the way the schedule broke. Pitch goes to Wordley on a sweep right side, and he's Wordley brought down just outside the five-yard line. Knocked out of bounds by number 88, Dylan Tenzar. We'll see where they spot it. Yeah, I'm going to say they're going to spot it probably at about, I actually got farther than he thought. He's four yard. just about outside the six. So that's a gain of three. Third We're bringing third and goal from the six. The six-yard line. Split backs again behind Matt Hildreth. He's been all on the ground so far. And Hildreth hands it off inside. And just outside the goal line. Let's see who got the carry on that one. Good power running there. It's a good strategy. We had a carry. It was Especially again. for this team. Fourth and goal from the one yard yeah, line. And he got about five on that one. So fourth and goal from the one. We'll see if they go up the gut again. Hildreth under center. Inside give. Did they get in? I don't know. Lovely and a carry. Are they in? I don't see a signal yet. No. Stop short Stopped the short and they turn Palmer it over inside the one. On Palmer with a great goal line First stand there, stuffing them from the inside the five line multiple line. times. Well, and that's one you gotta get if you're that close. I mean, you, you got to punch it in from the one, so not a great thing there, but Palmer will take it over <clears throat> deep inside their own territory at about the one-yard line. Good surge by the Palmer line. And now we will see what the Panthers have for an offense. Jeff Pardo, the quarterback for the Panthers under center. Shotgun, looks like. And the handoff goes off right tackle. Oh, Mastler's, uh, Mastler's the with the carry. The Red Hawks. And he gets swarmed down. Let's see if they got, he might have got a yard or two. Almost got the Red Hawks offsides with a hard count there. Yeah, he got one yard on that one. Second and nine from the two. But well, that is bizarre to see Frontier march down the field like that and not put it in from the one. That is 
very, very unusual. And got to feel good if you're Palmer to be able to have that goal line stand. Second and nine from the two for the Panthers. They run two receivers to the left and one back and a flag down. And what do we have? What is the call? Uh, I guess. Oh, OK, all right. So there was no flag on the play. It was just a counting thing. So we'll play second down here and nine from the two. Pardo with the pitch. Flag down. Flag is down. I think it's entirely possible we may have motion on the line. And see what the call is. Offside on the Red Hawks, five yard penalty, it will remain second down. Yeah, you kind of hate to see that. You know, it's a situation like that where you had him pinned back and then a five yard, looked like someone jumped. Two plays in a row, they tried to blitz the center and went a little too fast. That's gonna bring up second down and about three. Make it second and four. Second and four for the Panthers. From the seven. Inside handoff is snuffed out nicely. Masterless is brought down. That was nicely done. Nicely read by the front tier interior line. And that's going to push them back a couple of yards. It's going to bring up probably a loss. I'm going to say about three. Third and seven from the four. At that time, the jump, the jump worked after not working the last time right. being caught offsides. So third and a long seven for the Palmer Panthers. They got to get a first down here. They're going to be pinned back and fourth and long. That's a, looks like a quarterback keeper. Oh, he's going to throw it. He rolls out. And pass is incomplete. Knocked down nicely. I'm sorry, intercepted. Icarius McMillan. With the interception, Ito pulls it down. So that's good field position Red for the Red Hawks. Ball, first and ten. That was a dogfight in the air for that ball. Both people got their hands on it, and the, the Frontier came the down with it. Six yard line. Well, they were working all week on that pass defense, and that time it paid off for sure. Tried to fool him with a fake keeper and tossed it down the field. So Edo McMillan with the interception and it brings up first and 10 from the 41 of Palmer. Inside give and a cut back to the other way. Still on his feet is Landry and I think he's got first down yardage. Flag on the play. And a flag down. Let's see what they call. Back out of bounds by number 25, the Panthers, Kyle Griswold. Strong running there, broke a couple tackles on that play. We're gonna see if it, is it gonna come back? Still foul face mask, face mask on, on the Frontier. Red Hawks. Yeah, that's that's the kind of thing. That's, so two kind of costly penalties there for the Red Hawks. That's going to knock them back. 15 yard penalty for 15. the foul. Of the foul. It's a spot foul. So that will give them the ball at the 44 yard line. It looks like. I'm sorry, the 38-yard 30, line. 13 for the Red Hawks. And the handoff goes inside, and again, good stand-up by Palmer. Wordley knocked down behind the line of scrimmage, it looks like. The last couple Two run plays from Frontier have been shut Palmer. down by Palmer. Looks like they, law, they have lost no a yard there. Actually, Second and 13. I almost said lost one, so it's second and 14 from the 39. So Palmer has made an adjustment on defense. They've defended the run very well the last couple times down. Again, full house backfield behind Hildreth. And again, they go up right up the Landry. middle. It goes Landry. First down yardage and more as Aaron Landry went straight up the gut on that one. Clean cut. The uh, play was directed Hawks outside, made the cut, went back in, and got the yards. First and 10 Hawks at the Palmer 25-yard line. That was good for 14 for Landry. 
and a first and 10 on the 25. So the Red Hawks once again in business in the Palmer end of the field. One person who's not carried the ball yet is Bryce Dobas. Pitch goes right side. Worldly had a carry. That was Wordly and gets back to Joel about the line of scrimmage. Stop for Palmer. Let's see where they spot it. Back and forth battle. They say he lost about a yard on that one. So that'll bring up second and 11 from the 26. No game, second and 10. Palmer. 4.07 to go in the first quarter. No score yet. Frontier is knocking on the door, however. Double tight end set. Pitch goes to Landry left side. Landry looking to get the corner. Knocked out of bounds. Close to first down yardage. Let's see where they spot it. So it's been the Landry and Wordley show tonight. Off tackle, off tackle, off tackle. Yep. But a couple of sweeps, so they're mixing it up a little bit. And Game nine. You got nine Third on that and one. one for the Red Hawks. Third and one from the 15. Excuse me, the uh, 17 of Palm. And inside give in to Wordley, and that's going to be good for a first down. So they are running a lot of that tackle, as you Here's pointed out, but it's, it Palmer, seems to be working for them. All the inside runs so far have been shut down, just like those ones on the goal line last drive. It's good for three. They'll spot the bottom up the 14 yard, 13 yard line of Palmer. And inside give again. Wordly, again, on the ground, nothing fancy, straight up the gut. They're picking up two, three, four yards of the clip. That time was good for three, two. Second and seven. Uh, three, I think you're right. Second and seven. Nothing fancy is right, but so far the fancy has been working. Yeah. Well, I mean, you run it until they can stop it. That's the whole idea. Ball spotted at the 10 yard line. And in motion goes Landry. He takes the pitch. Trying to get that Landry, corner, Landry, and he's Gary. got the first down and more. And touchdown. Oh my God, he got the touchdown. I think mean, he got that far, but touchdown for Landry. 10 yard run for Aaron Landry, 6 0. Spectacular Landry. cut there to hit the corner. Full speed running at the sideline. Stops and turns. So the Hawks draw first blood. Landry from 10 yards out. With the extra point upcoming. Red Hawks will attempt a two point conversion. Yeah, I wonder if they'll run it. Up the middle. Hildreth <laughs> <laughs> under center. And inside give. Two point conversion is good. And Landry in for the two point conversion. So we'll bring it back upfield with the score. 243 to go in the first quarter. Frontier eight. Palmer nothing. This is high school football on Frontier Community Access Television. Eight plays, 59 yards, good for a 8 nothing score for the Frontier Red Hawks. Aaron Landry with the 10 yard run and the two point conversion run. So that's just what the doctor ordered after squandering their first series and coughing it up on the one basically. And fourth down, Red Hawks make full advantage of the second opportunity they have. Deep kick for the Red Hawks, all the way back down to about the one. Which is where Palmer will take it, and they'll take it out to about the 20 yard line or so, which is where they will start first and 10. Beautiful boot there. Donovan Hoffman on a stop for Frontier. Pioneer first and 10. From the Panther 20 yard line. So they'll start off from their 20. Same thing it would have been if it was a touchback, essentially. 2.37 to go in the first quarter. And Palmer, for the first time, will start a series outside of their own 10 yard line. High formation. Now in the shotgun goes Pardo. 
Pardo with the handoff inside. And good read by the Frontier defense. Good stand up. And he may have gotten a yard or two to see what his spot. Masslers on the carry, tackled by a host of Red Hawks. has been trying to blitz again. Standby They've been doing it all game, and, and they're nine. continuing here. So second and nine from the 31-yard line. Frontier has long been known for their defense. The size question was the issue coming in this year, and so far they've done a good job controlling that defensive line. Hardo in the shotgun again, two back split behind him. And Hardo rolls out right side, quick screen pass, complete. Pass complete number two, Joe Lombardi. And Lombardi with the pass. That Steve game Bortley gets him out to about the 25 yard line, thereabouts. The receiver's open, but it's only going to be like a two yard gain. Gain of a couple yards. It'll be third and six for Palmer. If you want to pass the ball, you've got to pass it down the field. The ball spotted at uh, about the 24 yard line of Palmer. Minute 16 to go in quarter number one. Frontier with the lead, 8-0. The near side wideout is Ledoux. Hardo again in the shotgun. And he's going to roll out, and he's going to get grabbed. He gets the pass off. The nearest receiver was Lombardi, incomplete. And that'll bring up fourth down in a punting situation. That was the most beautifully timed blitz we've seen this, this game. So nicely done by the Frontier defense. Yeah, they really run the backfield quick. They read that beautifully. Yep. And Lombardi's going to have to punt it away. He's 6'2", junior, to kick it away. End over end kick. And Landry takes it at about the 42 yard line. Runs it up the right side. Gets a nice block down the right sideline and is knocked out of bounds at around the 20 yard line, 25 yard line. So good return by Landry. Two drives, no first down for Palmer so far. That was about a 32 yard return by Landry. From the Palmer 29 yard line. And again, hits the outside. Whether it's offense or special teams, they've been doing it all game. So first and 10. Ball spotted at about the 29 yard line. Hildreth, his first pass of the game, pass and incomplete. Looking for Cole Price, incomplete. Cole Price incomplete. Threw a deep ball to the right corner, but not on target there. It's not a bad uh, call no, on first down. They've run every, Second, the ball every single time. Got to take a shot here and there if you want to win anything. We'll bring up second and 10. 35.3 seconds to go in quarter number one. Frontier with the lead, looking to extend. Second and 10 from the 29. Pitch, actually a cross buck handoff, goes counter, and Landry, Landry on the carry. close to first down yardage. That's a nice bit of misdirection, that cross buck, if you, do it, if you do it right, and you do it quickly, it, it can be really tough to stop. Yep, it's all about convincing the defense, though. Seven. The running back has the ball. And, well, the other running back has the ball. Third and three. For Third and three Hawks. from the 22, and that's going to be the last play of the first quarter. We have played one quarter from well, Frontier the Regional quarter, School. At the end of one quarter, school, it's Frontier Red Hawks Red eight. Hawks eight. Palmer, Panthers Palmer Panthers nothing. nothing. This is Frontier Red Hawks football on Frontier Community Access Television. Selling 50 50 tickets, and at halftime, we'll be entertained by the Red Hawk marching band. Chris Collins, Emilio Didana at Frontier Regional School. Kevin Murphy is the executive producer of Frontier Community Access Television's coverage of high school athletics. Also on the crew tonight, Alec Geckel, Crispin Driver Schroeder, and Matthew Stiles. Working it here from Frontier Regional School as the Red Hawks start off the second quarter with a 
8-0 lead. Aaron Landry, a 10-yard touchdown run and two-point conversion run is the difference in this one. Frontier marks the ball in their first series all the way down to the Aaron Palmer to one, but that stopped the nice goal line stand by the Panthers. Three. Panthers have not been able to muster much in the way of a consistent offense in terms of time of possession, Emilio, strongly. Time of possession is, uh, is in the hands of the Frontier Redhawks. They have controlled the ball a lot. Nothing much is an understatement. Palmer hasn't gotten a first down yet. Inside give. Let's see where they got that one. Steve Worley on a carry. It's Worley. Looks like Worley is handling a lot of the, the fullback duties. The this one he got a couple of yards, yards, so it's fourth and one. And I think they're going to probably go for it here, I would think. We're in four down territory. It also be a pretty far field goal. Yeah. Well, they've got. They've got people that can kick it, but they're certainly going to go for it here. Short yardage. Inside give again. They've got the first down and more. Worley and a carry. Yeah, and Steve Worley doing the, the majority of the running for short yardage, and Matt it's a first Marshall down. On a stop. Carry good for now a run run first down. First and ten frontier. Ball's going to be spotted at about the 16-yard line. Yard line. Excuse me, is it the 12 or the 16? No, you're right, it's the 12. That was good for eight right off the gut. First and 10 from the Panthers 12. 10 minutes to go in the, ha in the second quarter. Aaron Landry. Left sweep for Landry, one man to beat. He's knocked down at about the five yard line or so. Brandon on One of the side. things Landry is very good at is hitting that corner and making it turn. Well, that's the thing, and I, I said it in pregame, that these guys have great outside first speed. First down, Hawks, first and goal. First and goal from the five. Not just speed outside, but from football, the five yard line. And Aaron Landry, Landry over left side, touchdown. touchdown. That almost looked too easy. I don't even think he was touched on that play. So 14 nothing Landry with his second score of the game. A nice little off tackle five yard run. He's been the dominating factor today. As he was so often last season when we covered this team pretty extensively. Frontier will attempt a two-point conversion. And Hildreth rolls out, keeps it though. He's looking for a pass, tries to get the corner and is knocked out of bounds. Two-point conversion fails. We'll come back up the field though. 9.27 to go in the second quarter. On the scoreboard, Frontier 14, Palmer nothing. This is Frontier Regional High School Football on Frontier Community Access Television. Tonight's coverage of Frontier High School Football brought to you in part by attorney Dan Graves, who also happens to be the town moderator of Deerfield, and a guy you can go to for all your legal needs. He has an office in Greenfield, attorney Dan Graves. So 14 nothing Red Hawks, as that running game has been pretty much dominant, as we expected it probably would be. Now Palmer is gonna have to do some work here to get the offense going. And a squib play. kick flag down. I don't it's, think that ball went 10 yards. It might not have. Kick recovered by number 82. Well, I think it was offsides. I think someone may have run, taken off before the ball was kicked. So we'll talk about it. Probably we'll knock him back five yards and kick again, I would think. We'll see. We're going to ask the coach what they want to do here. They want to take the penalty or have him kick it over again. And it looks like they are going to spot it. Offside, off the penalties decline, so looks like they'll take it. 
right at midfield. Offside and Red Hawks. Best starting field position Palmer they've had the yet. That's true. From the 50 yard line. And Palmer has had two three and outs and only one completed pass. So not exactly an auspicious start to a team that was coming in as an underdog to begin with. Pardo in the shotgun again. He fakes the handoff. Trying to roll left. And he's going to go down hard, way back. And now a flag down behind the play. Are they going to get roughing the passer? Let's see what they got. Oh. Roughing the passer. You no, know, it's too bad. They were going to sack him, Emilio. It was just a matter of who was going to get to him first. And I guess they said he, they threw him down too hard. So it's a 15-yard penalty, a, an automatic first down at the 35 of Frontier when they would have had him back at the 35 of Palmer if they hadn't done that. Second defender slid in there, too. It could have been, could have been on him. Fourth penalty on the Red Hawks in this game. And they're going to spot the ball at the 34. Pardo now jumps back in the shotgun after going up to the line. And it's a snap. Quick pass complete. Pass complete to, to Lombardi. Lombardi. And they bring Lombardi down. And what is the call? Got a whistle. It's going to be good for about five yards, that pass. Completion good. Five yards. Second and five for Palmer. It's going to spot the ball at the 29 of the Red Hawks. Palmer's only completion so far have been digging dunks. Yep, that's true. Two passes, mostly two screen passes, basically. Pardo now. Ends off to his big fullback, Masterless. Gets down to about the 25. And that's going to be good enough, I believe, for a first down. Bryce Dobis on a stop for the Hawks. Carry good for a Palmer first down. First and 10 Panthers from the Red Hawk 25 yard line. Lock in motion, 8 10 to go in the first half. And Palmer, thanks to that roughing the passer penalty, is in good shape as they're marching down the field. They were snake bit, and that penalty gave them new life. Long snap count, and they're going to throw on first down. Pardo looking for someone to throw to. Lobs it downfield, and a nice catch. Great catch by Lombardi. And that's good for, I believe, first down yardage. Way to just get up there and grab that ball out of the air. Getting the toes down is awesome. Yep, and they're going to move the chains. Panthers. So they've turned a sack of 20 yards into a red zone drive. Yeah, that's the kind of thing that drives a coach nuts. But and right now, this is the, if they score here, they're, they're right back in this game. I formation now. Pardo for a rare moment under center. And he's going to pitch it to Masterless right side. Masterless gets a hole, spins back around, gets swarmed and brought down. Good for a couple of yards at least. On a carry. Corbin Blight on the stop for Frontier. Dano. Three yards, second and seven. That was Plancanico's first run of the game. Second and seven from the Frontier 11. And we'll call timeout and we'll take the break. 8.38 to go in the first half. Frontier 14. Palmer nothing but threatening. This is high school football on Frontier Community Again, Access Television. Half time will be entertained by the Red Hawk band.
Frontier Band in fine form, mid-season form, I'd four. say. Palmer High Second and seven for Palmer, just outside the 10-yard line of Frontier. Again, this drive kept alive by roughing the passer penalty. They had Palmer sacked deep in their own end and ended up being a 15-yard penalty to put Palmer, put Palmer in Frontier's end. And the quarterback looks like a broken play. He's going to run out of bounds. No one to throw to. So far, the pass coverage right now for Frontier has been really good tonight. Yep, that's not something we're expecting, but we're hoping. Loss of three yards, third and ten for the Palmer Panthers. So they lost three on that one, and that will bring them back to the 14. So that was uh, just what the doctor ordered for the Frontier Redhawks. Third and ten from the Redhawk 14 yard line. One back in the backfield, double receivers on either side. for Pardo out of the shotgun. Pardo rolling left, rolling right. Gets a block, runs right side, fires it downfield, incomplete. Again, great pursuit, great coverage by the Frontier secondary. And uh, trying to run him down and almost getting to him was Corbin Blight. So it's gonna be fourth and 10. We are expecting the coverage to be off and on today, but it's been locked down so far. Timeout called by Palmer. So fourth and ten here. I mean, they're in four down territory. They're just outside the ten yard line of the Frontier Redhawks. Would they try for a field goal here, or who knows? I mean, I would think they're, they're probably going to go for it. Punting doesn't make a lot of sense, but if they have a field goal kicker, we don't know. They're going to go for it on fourth and ten. Pretty much the same setup. Double wide outs on either side. One back in the backfield behind the quarterback, Pardo. And he's going to roll left. And the blitz is coming the again. blitz is coming. They're going to get him, I think. Oh, great block Ooh, again. Pardo fires it downfield incomplete. But again, great pursuit by Frontier. And pass incomplete means a turnover on downs. So this drive miraculously turns from a 20 yard sack into a red zone drive into a stand. Yeah, I mean it's amazing, but I think that the Frontier Red Hawks, I think, definitely dodged a bullet there. I and mean, that was a, a penalty that was unnecessary. But they'll get the ball back in their own end with 6.15 to go in the half, up 14 0. Good thing about having a good running game is it chews up lots of clock, too. I mean, you, you're taking time off the clock, making it less and less likely that Palmer will be able to stage a comeback. That was by far their longest drive of the game, only kept alive by a frontier penalty. Inside give, actually, this is a sweep. Left carry. side for Aaron Landry. And Williams on stop looks like he got Palmer. probably six yards on that one. They'll bring up second and four from the 20. Palmer, Palmer player is down. Time off for an injured player. Yeah, slow, slow to get up. Walking. His number 87, Chad Bigos. And I stand for 37, Kyle Masterless. I'm sorry, that was Kyle Masterless. It's tough to read those numbers out there. That blue on white. He runs the sideline. 5.56 to go in the half. Five, second and five for the Hawks. Ball spotted at around the 20 yard line. Time and a Palmer. timeout for Palmer. I don't know if that's a full or a 30. To the third timeout. Should also mention, we want to thank Dan Graves again, local attorney and the town moderator of Deerfield for being we need to underwrite our coverage. We're still looking for underwriters. If you have a business in the area and you're interested in making a tax-deductible contribution to our efforts to bring you the very best of Frontier Athletics this season, feel free to give us a call at Frontier Community Access Television's home office in Sunderland at the Town Hall in Sunderland, 665-0012, area code 413. 
Hildreth under center for the Red Hawks. And again, quick handoff. First down yardage and more out past the 30 yard line. And again, that was Landry. Four good power first running first up the gut. From the it's been their strategy for a while and yeah. it's gonna continue this season. And they have not been able to defend it as Palmer very well. Or most teams in this league. Well, yeah, that's the thing. I mean, they were already a good backfield. I'm on the air. Quick handoff inside again. And... Dylan Tenzar on a stop for the Panthers. No game, second and 10. Do we see who carried that ball? Was that Landry? Ah, uh, yes. Game of about one. Second and nine from the 30 yard line. Clock is in motion, 4.46 to go until the half. Inside give, right up the middle, and gone. Although Great acceleration. Landry is brought down inside of Palmer territory, but it's a good thing that guy was there. Otherwise, he was gone off to the races. Great acceleration there. Took the ball and hit full speed in an instant. From the Palmer 45-yard line. That was good for 25 up the middle. Well, I guess running off tackle is not a bad strategy. <laughs> uh, I thought that their best move might be to run to the outside. They've done that with success, but the up the gut stuff has been unstoppable. Here's a pitch. Aaron Landry, Aaron Landry again. Again, picks up about four or five yards. To about the 41 yard line. Second and five for the Hawks. Frontier's passing game has been non existent, but their running game has been. Well, they haven't immense. needed it. And, then, and this has sort of been the, the way that's happened in the last few years. You know, they've concentrated on the running game. The passing game was one of those things that was not. I mean, some teams build around the pass, some teams build around the run. Frontier's consistently built around the run. Who needs to throw a bomb when you can run for the same amount of yards? Right, and you got Matt Hildreth back there who's a, a good thrower, a good passer, but he's not a huge kid. And one of the things that Frontier's had in the last couple of years is quarterbacks with a lot of height. And, you know, it's tough to sometimes see over that big line. Well, it's a smaller line this year. Smaller line this year, but I'm talking about the, the defensive yeah. line, too. And if you got a winning strategy, go with what's winning. Second and long five from the 41. Hildreth with the pass. That one got tipped on the way over, incomplete. And once again, that's another example. I mean, big lineman jumps up, knocks it loose. Third and five for the Red Hawks. Yeah, add another foot to Hildreth, and he's right over that guy. He's such a great athlete, though, and such a good kid. I mean, he he sort of has had to inherit this team, and. You know, keep in mind, he is uh, he's a junior this year, but he was taking snaps when he was a freshman and a sophomore. So he's had some experience in the pocket, but when you've got a backfield like that to hand off to, I just hand off all day. Bryce Dobis, uh, Bryce Dobis his first carry around the corner, speeding down the sideline, he's gone. Bryce Dobis, touchdown, 41 yards with 20 nothing. What a run, everything about that. The acceleration to the outside, a beautiful Hitting cut it around the 15 hole. yard line. He's oh, and it's gonna come back. Holding is the call, tough break. So that's gonna come back. And that is, a, that is a sad situation there because that was a beautiful run. That's not the play you wanna be called back. No, but then again, that may be why he was able to spring out so well. So that's gonna bring up third and 16 from the 49 of the Red Hawks. And that was the first carry from Dobas. I was wondering when we were gonna see him, but that acceleration to the outside 
and he has been he has been a monster the first two games of the season for the Frontier Redhawks. First carry, but could have been the first touchdown. Well, for him. Now, out of the shotgun, and Landry, on Landry that looked like a direct snap. He gets stop. down to about the 44-yard line of Palmer. It's good for six. Fourth down. Be fourth down. Be fourth and 14 Time from the 44 of Palmer. Now the question becomes, do you heave one downfield or do you try and do some trickery? I'd like to see him try a double reverse. They've got the speed back there to be able to do it. They've got Landry and Wordley, and they've got, now he saw what, just saw what Dobis could do. Although it looks like Wordley is on the sidelines being attended to by an EMT. I'm not sure what happened there. Could be a cramp. I mean, there'd be nothing wrong with heaving the ball down the field here or enough to get run, which has been successful so far. Well, I mean, the concern is if you throw it deep and they play center field, they intercept it, bring it back, then you're down, you know, you're up 14 to 6 or 8 going into the half. I think you give it to Landry and just your student body right or left and just run down the sideline. Here comes the train. <laughs> I'm always amazed why people wave at the train. Is the train going to wave back? I don't know. Best friends. <laughs> uh, fourth and 14. Fourth and 15 for the Red Hawks. And in the shotgun now, a little pitch. And uh, the Hildreth pitches it. Brought down by 82. Riley Williams, Palmer takes over. It's like a little confusion 10. on the snap there. A couple of the linemen took a second to get up. Yeah, and that didn't work. So we're going to turn it over on downs at about the 40-yard line. They still got four yards out of it, but it's a turnover. Again, that's an option pitch. Hildreth looking for Dobus, and they just Pioneer sniffed it out, or Palmer sniffed it out. So first and 10. First the down 40 Panthers from the Palmer 40-yard line. Of the Palmer Panthers. This is Palmer's fourth series of the half. First two or three and outs. The last one was relatively successful, but got only as far as the 14 of the Red Hawks. Jeff Pardo in the shotgun again for the Panthers. And a pitch goes left side to Masterless. Masterless and he is going to get brought down at, uh, he lost a couple of yards on that one. Joe Hilger found a stop. Good job getting in the backfield there by Frontier. Yeah, they're penetrating really, really well on defense. And they're making it very, very difficult for Pardo to get any kind of a rhythm in terms of his passing game. They've covered in the secondary very, very well. I think the only thing that Frontier has had a problem with in this half has been penalties. A couple of very inopportune penalties, one of which resulted in a touchdown being called back. And another one with a sack being called back. That's right, and that gave great field position to the Panthers. Pardo under center again. Shotgun. And he's going to try and throw on second down. And he lobs it. Kind of a weird pass. I know he got hit while he was throwing. It was kind of an end over end pass. Incomplete. Third and 12 for Palmer. It's going to bring up third and 12. So Pardo, after passing for 120 yards last week, has completed only two passes in this game for the Panthers. 144 to go in the half. Third and 13 from the 38 of Palmer. 14-0. Red Hawks have dominated this first half. Time of possession and everything else. Pardo's going to roll out on third down. And again, the pressure from Wordley. Fires it the other way, incomplete. And you're absolutely right. The, 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 the penetration by the linebackers of, Pi of Frontier has really caused problems for Pardo. That's going to bring up fourth and ten. And a passing situation. Most likely. He got blitzes. Hunting, excuse me, situation. He got blitzes have been coming all day. They're probably going to keep coming. Well, the defensive strategy has worked for Frontier. 
They were worried about the pass. That's who well defended. And their linebackers are just making life miserable. Aaron Landry for Pardo. Keep the receive. Landry back at his own 30. End over end punt. Landry will let it go. Almost touched it. And it'll be dropped down at about the 25 yard line. 25 yard line of Frontier, Frontier will take, will take it. First and 10. With 127 to go in the half. Join us at the half for the Frontier Regional Marching Band. Also, a shout out to the cheerleaders who are down there doing great work tonight. And this is opening night of what's going to be a stacked schedule. The next several Friday nights, Frontier is in action. No Saturday games this year, which does not happen very often. And handoff and goes Landry. to Landry. He breaks gone. a tackle. He a one man to beat and he gets Ooh. brought down at the 20 of Palmer. By number 24. But again, and Landry two. having one of those nights. There's nobody on the left side of the field there. But Landry thought he might have gotten hit with a face mask there, but no call. A close line. And the First ball is at the Red 20. Hawks. The Palmer 20 yard line. It's good for a 55 yard run. Biggest run of the night. Landry well over 100 yards, I believe, in this first half. Pick up for Aaron Landry. Minute to go. Can they punch one more in and make it a three touchdown deficit? Flag. That'll be a false carry. start. I think it's going to be a free play. Dylan Tenza on a stop. Illegal shift. Legal oh, shift illegal on shift on Frontier. Five yard penalty. Five-yard penalty to remain first down. That's the sixth penalty of this half by Frontier, and that is not a good thing. I've not been playing a disciplined game this quarter. First well, I, quarter. I think in some, in some aspects they have, but you're absolutely right. To, to commit that many penalties in one half of football, I mean, there are some teams that don't commit half that many penalties in an time entire game. Call by the Red Hawks. Frontier calls time. Those penalties have cost, by my tally, 50 yards in this game. Not to mention handed the Pioneer Pan the Palmer Panthers a, a golden opportunity to get back in this game, which they were unable to convert on. So a quick timeout, 42.3 seconds to go in the half. Next week, the Red Hawks welcome the Mahar Senators to town and that'll be an interesting game. Mahara, a young team. We've got a couple of guys who can run the ball, but uh, young, inexperienced, and not exactly the most disciplined team. But who knows? I mean, anything can happen when you play the game. But they've got a good young program and they got a good coaching staff, but I don't think they're going to be any match for the Red Hawks. Our friends from Bear Country provide commentary that night. Quick handoff inside. Landry on a carry. And that's Landry again. Andrew Connors. And we'll see where they spot it. Frontier. Frontier takes Four another timeout. It was good for about two. We'll bring up second and 13 from the 23 of Palmer. 35.9 seconds left in this one. Excuse me, in this first half. Now looking ahead on the schedule, the Franklin Tech Eagles will be here the first weekend in October. We'll be there for that one with commentary. And by the way, we've expanded our sports coverage this year to include a number of other teams. We've got lots of soccer games, uh, field hockey games, volleyball. We'll be, at the, we'll be live uh, coming up for uh, the Pack the House night for volleyball. All these games can be found on our FCAT media page at youtube.com. Split backfield. Dobis is back there. Landry is in the shotgun. And the direct snap goes to Dobis. And he gets ripped up, pulled down. That looked like a face Andrew mask, but again, no flag. He clearly got his face mask yanked. Must have been Frontier. very silent today. The final timeout in the first half. And that's going to be good for 
About five yards. It'll bring up, I think, a third and eight. And the 19. We're on the 18, actually, of Palmer. I was mentioning in our Frontier Sports coverage, we got a couple of new voices that have jumped in. And uh, as we are continuing to try and get, encourage the students to, aspiring student broadcasters to join the club. So be listening for that. Hildreth is going to pass on third down. Fires down the right sideline. Oh, incomplete. Oh, incomplete. In and out of the hands. That one should have been six points. That was a touchdown. 10, he had the guy beat. He was behind Four him and just could not corral the pass. Located perfectly. Yeah, that was a great pass by Hildreth. It just wasn't caught. And it's going to bring up fourth down and about eight in the 18. For the 13, I'm sorry. Yeah, 13. Fires it again. That one was blocked by a lineman. That Incomplete. Again, that, that height Connors. comes into play. Takes over first Second pass this game has been tipped up at the line. Yep. And that will be a turnover on downs. The Panther 21 yard line. Which will give the Panthers the ball back at their own 21. The 23 yard line. So it's a tough break. That could have been six points, but instead it will be a one more crack for Pioneer. You can't Pioneer for Palmer because they're both the Panthers. Palmer plays in the Tri County League. 15.2 seconds. I would think a huge downfield would not be out of the question here. Or they might just take a knee. Especially with Palmer's strong passing game. Yeah, he's Part just taking a knee. So that would be the last play. play. First half with the, of the, score half. the front we played one half 14. from Palmer Deerfield. The end of one half, it's the, the Frontier Redhawks 14. The, uh, the and the, Red the Palmer fans. Panthers nothing. Halftime coming up. This is high school football on Bear Country on, on Frontier Community Access Television.
giving a great hand to the Red Hawk band. Nice job. Welcome back to Frontier Regional School. Chris Collins, Emilio Giordana, our executive producer of high school sports on Frontier Community Access Television is Kevin Murphy. Alec Eckel, Crispin Driver Schroeder, and Matthew Stiles work in the cameras and controls tonight. Frontier Red Hawks come out for the second half with a 14-0 lead. Uh, they got on the board first in the first quarter. Aaron Landry, 10-yard run, and he followed it up with a two-point conversion run to make it 8-0 in the second quarter. Landry again from five yards out. The attempted point after run failed to make it 14-0. Uh, the, the standout stat in the first half of Mamilio Hill, Aaron Landry, that is an average day at the office. 15 carries, 190 yards. I mean, that's just flat out stupid. What is that? 14 yards a carry? And that was about what he averaged last year, too. It's about 10 to 14 yards a carry was what he averaged last year in the early part of the season. Of course, there were injuries in the second half of the year uh, that, that diminished production. But that's just a, a great night at the office. Steve Wordley also uh, getting a number of touches, mostly of short yardage efforts. Uh, the passing game, much ballyhooed passing game of Palmer, hasn't really been existing. Three uh, for Palmer nine passing with one interception for Palmer quarterback Jeff Pardo. And his main target, his only target, has been Joe Lombardi, the big tight end, the junior. Uh, three catches for 25 yards. So Frontier will get the ball the to start. I'm sorry, the. Uh, Panthers will get the ball as they deferred after Back winning the, the kickoff. Back the Panthers are number 24, Dan Ledoux, and number 7, Tyler Placanico. Worthy to kick it away for the Red Hawks. The Red Hawks also had two touchdowns called back. The, the great run by Bryce Dobis was called back because of a holding penalty, and then there was a, a, a nice pass into the right corner of the end zone that the receiver just couldn't hang on to. Otherwise, it would, this could be a four-touchdown game. Worthy to boot it away. High end over end kick taken at about the 20 yard line. And it's Ledoux running back to by Ledoux to about the 40 yard line. Good field position, about a 16 yard return for Palmer and they'll start off in a, in a good spot. Spotted at about the 38-yard line. Last tackle by 32, Sam Heber. Of Palmer. And again, wideouts on either side. For the junior quarterback for Palmer, Jeff Pardo. He's not bringing out of the shotgun tonight. And he's going to hand it off to Masterless. Masterless on the carry. And he gets about two yards up to about the 40 yard line. Cole Price on the stop for the Hawks. Frontier's been able to shut yard, down Palmer's run game all day. Haven't gotten anything out of it. Yeah, those, that, that run I'm cutting in and out here. That run game was pretty, uh, pretty solid last time out but has not been really effective. Nothing has been really effective offense-wise for Palmer in this game. Pardo now, and the shotgun again. Three receivers to the left. Master is in the right slot. And Pardo's pass over the middle. Was it complete or incomplete? Pardo's pass complete. It was complete. Tough to tell from here. Completion good, good for a Panther first down, first and 10 at midfield. At about the 49 yard line, so that was good for nine. Again, nothing over 10 yards passing wise. They tried, but they haven't been able to connect on it. Correct. Again, double wideouts on either side for Pardo. Operating out of the shotgun again. Two-step drop pass and pass. 
Then it's number 24. Incomplete. And Ledoux, incomplete. Second and 10 for the Panthers. Second and 10 from the 49. We're having a couple of audio drops here and there, but we apologize if it's translating on TV. Again, trips to the left for Pardo under center. It's one back behind him. And they're going to go for a slant pass, which is complete, but well pursued. Pass slant to pass to Lombardi. Really good way to get to him. The second they read that he was... He got smothered, and they actually lost yardage on that. They lost, looks like they lost two yards, so a rare loss on a uh, passing play. It happens once in a while. I don't see it very often. Um, it was almost like a screen pass there. Yeah, it was definitely in the flat, but the Frontier defenders read it well and came up and just smothered Joe Lombardi. Didn't let him go anywhere. So Lombardi now has caught four balls for 23 yards. So he loses two yards on his overall tally. Same formation for Pardo. And now it looks like another blitz. Pardo fires it down the right sideline, way too uh, far ahead of the receiver. Incomplete, and that'll bring up fourth down. Again, this, uh, again uh, Frontier sends the pressure with Worthley. He's been the main blitzer today. Yeah, Worthley has been an outstanding. Of course, he's, he was not sitting linebacker last year, but he really seems to be. Uh, yeah, he seems to be all over the case of, uh, of the quarterback. And again, they've sacked him once, but that sack was uh, negated because of a penalty. So Palmer's going to have to punt here. And back deep at his own 25 he is Landry. End over end kick, and Landry fields it and That's falls on it, so no return. Landry finds a punt. I'll take over at the 23 yard line with the Hawks take over first and 10. Yeah, that's very scary when, uh, you know, when, when a punt like that bounces and you try to field it and you muff it and you muff it. That, uh, that makes coaches crazy a little bit too. Especially on punts. That's you why they always scream the poison, going. stay away from it. And these things happen. But Frontier will take over. First and 10, 23 yard line. 8.15 to go in the third quarter, 14 nothing lead. Inside handoff again Landry for Landry. Perry. Up the middle, adding to his already massive yard total Masslers tonight. On a stop for and the straight Panthers. up the gut. Picks up, uh, looks like, seven yards. Seven, about to break three. the 200-yard Second half just started. Yep, he's, he's, about, he's about there. And Landry, on the Landry again up the middle. You got to wonder how Trip long he'll Andrew be in there with. Here that kind of a total. It's good for a first down. And that's 200. That's yep, it's over frontier, 200. From the frontier, 38 yard line. Yeah, that's another solid performance by Aaron Landry. And this time they try to go outside. Beautiful cut. Wordly on a carry. Right, again, that was Wordly. Andrew Connors on the stop. Got back to about the line of scrimmage. Fancy move, but didn't Game get anything yard, out of it. Actually, no, he actually got, he actually got two yards on that one. Second and eight from the 40 of Frontier. And again, these ground offenses are just chewing up tons of time off the clock. Get off tackle, up the middle. Steve Wardley in the carry. And once again, those legs just keep on Take churning. Pushing. Third and two for I mean, if you can get eight yards like that off of a off tackle play, you're doing well. It's been a power run day, which is what we expected. Coming up third and one. And again, a cross buck counter play. Landry, and good Landry for first down yardage. Palmer territory for a Red Hawk first down. First down, and they're into the Palmer end of the field. So 
There's Nothing fancy, frontier. just smash mouth. Off tackle football. In the Palmer 47 yard line. Eight minutes to go in the third quarter. That's six minutes to go in the third quarter. The last backfield again. Quick handoff. And we're going to get up to about the 46, I think, is where they're going to say four momentum will stop, which would be a gain of two. Gain of two Nothing really fancy eight. here. Nothing special. It's just smash mouth. Yeah, but what it's doing is they're going to eat up most of this quarter on the ground, and they're not going to give Palmer. I mean, the more the more time of possession, the more control of the ball you have, the less you allow your opponents tiring any chance to come back. Tiring out the defense. Well, Hildreth is going to roll out and keep it. Trickery there. First down yardage and more. Matty Hildreth off to the races, deep into Palmer territory and out of bounds. Matt Hildreth on a carry, knocked out of bounds. So Matty Hildreth can run the ball. That was a nice little quarterback keeper. And, and it's going to be first and goal. Fake to Landry. Took a couple people out of that play. The ball is spotted at about. Not sure if it's what the nine yard line, it looks like. 11. It's got to be. It's about the nine yard line. And Landry trying to go left on first and goal. And Over Landry. end. Knocked out of bounds inside. Oh, he got in. He's Touchdown. In. Breaks a tackle, hits the corner, and is in again. What a performance on the ground. Pretty amazing. 20 to nothing is the score. And the Aaron Landry show continues. Hawks will attempt the two-point conversion. That snap. That snap, and ball is loose. Fumble on the snap. Conversion is no conversion good. Is no Four, good. 58 remaining here in the third quarter. The so score. come up the field the Hawks 20 the with Palmer the Red Hawks up 20 to nothing over Palmer. This is high school football on Frontier Community Access Television. Chris Collins, Emilio Dodonna, back out here at Frontier Regional School. And the Red Hawks get on the board again, courtesy of the legs of Aaron Landry. Nine yard touchdown run, two point conversion fails to make it an even 20 to nothing. And Worthy to boot it away for Frontier. They're just a dominating performance. End over end kick, and it rolls out of bounds. About the kick goes out of bounds, set on a play. See where they will spot it. Palmer will get the ball first and ten. From the 30 yard line. So Palmer will start off at their own 30. 4.58 to go in the third quarter. 20 zip. It's been a dominating performance on both sides of the ball for the Frontier Red Hawks. But no more so than the legs of Aaron Landry, although a 37-yard run by Hildreth was what set up that last touchdown. Hardo now. Under center, whistle. And what do we have here? Timeout, Frontier. Frontier timeout. I think maybe they, they wanted to change the defensive scheme. So Scott Dredge calling in. Was defensive captain. And then we will call him the defensive set. Palmer's efforts to spread the defense have been relatively unsuccessful in this game tonight, despite coming in with a much ballyhooed passing game. Palmer had all the momentum coming in and lost it on yep. their first hasn't, drive. Hasn't really materialized tonight. But they will keep on plugging here. Pardo now. The shotgun again. 
Double wideouts on either side. And quick pass completed. Uh, pass complete to 88, Dylan Tenzar. To Dylan Tenzar. If they were able to complete all of those, they would be in a much better position right now. But if is the key word in that sense. Game of nine, second and one. That was good for nine. Couple drops on those. Ball is spotted at the 39 yard line of Palmer. As they're trying to get something going here. But they are down by three scores. Once again, Pardo dropping back to pass for someone to throw to, not having much luck. And he's able to avoid the sack and step out of bounds. But again, great coverage down the field by the secondary of the Red Hawks. It's been locked down all day. And he actually lost yards on that. About six yards. Well, no, he he did. Third and seven. On the rare occasion of the completion, it's been for only four or five yards. That'll bring up third and seven at about the 33. Timeout called by Palmer. So all we have a minute, we'll remind you that the next broadcast of, fin of Frontier Regional High School Football Comes your way next weekend. The Mahar Senators come to town. And uh, Senators are having a rough time of it. They're, they've been beaten in their first two, two, first two games of the season. And uh, they lost pretty handily to Greenfield on opening night. Of course, Greenfield got the win over Frontier. That should be a game the Red Hawks should win, but again, you never know until you play. Palmer 33 yard line. As shown with this game, he's expected to be at least a little closer. Third and seven. Shotgun formation again for the Panthers. And Worth. he fires it downfield and uh, way ahead of his receiver is incomplete. Again, Worth with the pressure up the middle. That A gap has been his all day. Yeah, he, he's been all over quarterback in this game. Defensively, I think Worthley's been the player of the game for Frontier. And offensively, I think it's been Landry. Of course, Pardo, too. Just throw that ball a little too far. So once again, they'll have to go three and out with the Panthers, and it'll be punted away by big number two, Joe Lombardi. Nice snap. Lombardi boots it away end over end. This time, I think Landry will not go near it. And then it'll be down at about the 24-yard line, which is where the Red Hawks will start the next series with 3.54 to go in the third quarter. 29-yard line, where the Hawks take over first and 10. Once again, I want to thank our underwriter for this game, and that would be attorney Dan Graves. He's got an office in Greenfield. He also happens to be the town moderator in the town of Deerfield. Good guy and uh, a great lawyer. See him for all your legal needs. First and 10 from about the 30. And again, a handoff. Steve Wordley on a carry. Wordley, let's see if he got. Joe Lombardi on a stop. Let's see what he got for yardage. Maybe a couple of yards there. I'm going to give him one. Gain of a yard, it'll be second and nine. Ball spotted at the Frontier 31. Clock is in motion. And barring a major meltdown or a miracle comeback, Frontier looks like they're going to win this game. Inside give again. Aaron Landry on the carry. Landry off tackle. A rare two plays in a row that Frontier's only gotten one yard. Yep, it's going to bring up third and about Matt seven Martian from the 33 the of Frontier. Third and seven for the Red Hawks. You know, those handoffs are coming so quick, it's almost tough to see who has the ball. A lot of preparation there, too. 
And there's a counter run for Landry. Landry. Kyle Massel is on the stop for the Panthers. And Carry this is going to bring up a fourth down. down. A rare fourth down, so we might actually, we might actually see a punt here. First one of the day. You're right. J.L. Palmer's return team is. <laughs> yep, they're going to punt it away. Worthley to punt for Frontier. Land Worthley. There could be a fake coming here. We've got three, or three guys down and punt it. Really boots it. I think Palmer thought there was going to be a Panthers. fake because they didn't have anybody back there to receive this punt. punt will be down at the and so the punt will not be returned. Palmer 22-yard line where the Panthers take over first and 10. And Palmer will get the ball back on their own 22. One fifty to go in the third quarter. Ball will be spotted at the 22-yard line. This will be the third series for Palmer. Again, they have not seen the end zone in this game. It's only been close once. Yep. And that one, they got as far as the 14. That's the farthest they've gotten into the frontier red zone in this game. And on a penalty, too. Yeah, well, the penalty set that drive up, but that was by far their best drive and it would not have happened without that penalty. Double wide outs on either side. Hardo gets the snap. Pass over the middle is complete. Hardo pass and complete to down the sidelines goes Placanico, Placanico rather, and that's good for a first down. Seamless execution there. Completion good for a Panther for The pass, down. the catch, everything on that time. That was about the best pass play we've seen from them in this game. From the or from anybody at that rate. 43 yard line. Good for 19, actually 21, excuse me. First and 10, same set. For Pardo. Hand off up the middle. Master is with the carry. Using the pass to set up the run. Wilson on the stop for the Red Hawks. And that could be good five, for six. Be second, and five. Yeah, second and four from the 49. Oh, Palmer. So the Panthers are starting to move the ball a little bit. Possibly the last play of the quarter coming up. Should have one more. Pardo, under center, and screen pass is incomplete. Pardo's pass intended for number Intended receiver was Dan Ledoux. Palmer's finally caught on to that blitz. Shut it down there. They'll bring up third and four in the 49. 26.8 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Once again in the shotgun, double wide outs on either side. Nasserlis is the lone back. Down. We're going to call timeout. Looks like the, the defense had it red. So a quick timeout. Timeout for Palmer. Palmer. Second timeout of the second half. This looks like a full. Once again, a reminder, you can watch all of these games on our YouTube page. That's the FCAT Media page at YouTube.com. Not only the sports games, but we've got all of our local government meetings up there and other things that we are out and about in the community filming. And YouTube.com, FCAT Media is the page. It was a 30 second timeout. Pardo back up under center. Same formation. Calling out the signals. Throw. 
On third down, he's going to heave it down the sidelines. And a great play by Edo McMillan to block that pass intended for Plakanako. And Edo McMillan, a great defensive play, and that'll bring up fourth and four. He had his hands on the ball. Both players Fourth did it that. No one came down with a good defensive play. And Edo McMillan has already intercepted Pardo once tonight in the first quarter. That could have been a big play, too. He might have gone all the way if he hung on to that. Well, it was certainly a size mismatch. I mean, the, the, this kid, uh, Mechanico, is 5'10", and Edo is 5'7", so he had him on the height, but Edo was quicker with the hands. They're going to go for it. Why not? On fourth and four, a whistle. And now timeout. another timeout Palmer. for Palmer. Third timeout of the second half. This is a full one, so we'll take the break. 20.4 seconds to go in the third quarter. On the scoreboard, it is the Frontier Redhawks 20 and the Palmer Panthers nothing. This is high school football on Frontier Community Access Television. Okay, let's see what the Palmer Panthers bring out here. They're not going to punt. Not down by three scores, they're not here. Nothing to lose by going for it. Palmer from the Palmer 49 yard line. If you want to make this comeback, you gotta get the momentum on your side. I think you have to. It's pretty much the same formation, although they have a, a tight end formation as well. And they're going back into the eye, it looks like, and Pardo's gonna take the snap under center. This is something we haven't seen a lot of in this game. And he's going to roll on fourth down. Fire to incomplete. Pass intended for Dan Ledoux. Nicely broken up and the turnover on downs. That's two swaths for you to this drive. I'll tell you, I've been very impressed with the secondary coverage of Frontier tonight. Coming in, they knew this kid could throw the ball that was going to throw the ball. And they have defended him very, very well. Smaller guy won the size matchup. That's happened quite a bit tonight. I mean, their secondary, like I said, there's not a lot of size on this Frontier team, yeah. especially in the secondary. But they've been playing taller than they are in this one. And I believe Logo at the center is going to roll back. Fires down the right sideline, intended for Landry incomplete. Second and ten. I'll bring up second and ten. And again, we have 6.9 seconds to go in the third quarter. And I wonder how long Landry and Wordley are going to be in there, given the situation and given the score. You don't really want to risk an injury at this point with so many more big matchups coming up on the schedule. This one has never really been in doubt. Worst things to get an injury early in the season. Exactly. And they were they got plagued by injuries late in the year, which is why they got beat up pretty good in the playoffs. And Wordly springs another. through, he's gone. Touchdown, Steve Wordly, with no time left in the third quarter clock. Breaking multiple tackles on that play. He's got the speed, the power, and the finesse. Well, I'll tell you, I thought he was hitting the backfield on that one. He yeah. broke two or three tackles and was off to the races. Steve Wordley, with no time left on the clock. Make something out of nothing. Runs it in. Frontier will try a point after. Two point conversion attempt upcoming. to attempt the point after. It looks like they're going to kick it here. This is something they haven't tried yet. Matt Hildreth. Hildreth for the kick. That's right and down it's good. Is good. So we'll come back up the field with the that score. The Frontier Red Hawks 27. Palmer Frontier nothing. This is Frontier Red Hawk football on Frontier Community Access Television. So we'll start off the fourth quarter with the Frontier Red Hawks extending their lead by another touchdown courtesy of a 49-yard run by Steve Wordley, who's had a monster game on both sides of the ball, but you know he's been most prominent on defense. But offensively, he's got a lot of carries, lots of short yardage carries, 
Landry's been getting the bulk of the yards. But he sprung away for 49. And Red Hawks lead 27 0. We'll start the fourth quarter with the kickoff. Worldly to boot it away to Palmer, which would like to get onto the board, the board at some point here and keep this a little bit respectable. Ball taken at the 10. And run back and brought down at about the 38 yard line. It's good for a 28 yard return, which is where we will start. First and 10 for Pioneer. I said, I said Pioneer again, Palmer. Palmer, thank you. On the ball, first and 10. Now will be a good time to actually get something going for Palmer, but Palmer's, maybe yep. too little, too late. At the 36 yard line. They run one man in motion. Ricardo, pass, nearly intercepted. Pass. Right through the hands. Of so uh, the Frontier Red number Hawks, 38 number 38, Hawks. Corbin Blight. Corbin Blight. Couldn't haul it in. Still a good defensive play. Bring up second, second and 10, 10 for the 36. Panthers. Despite it not being an interception, there's still a breakup of what could have been a 5 10 yard completion. Blight would love to have that one back. That would have been a nice interception to get. Yeah. And there was nobody between him and the end zone except imagination if he catches it. Cardo out of the gun again. Rolling right, being pursued. Has to fire it downfield again. Oh. Incomplete. It was actually caught out of bounds by Frontier's number 32. Sam Hebert on a covered Sam Hebert, but it was out of bounds when he caught it, so again, pass incomplete. That's two chances for an interception, but the second one, not very good. Brings up third and 10 from the 36. <clears throat> Here comes our buddy. Here comes the train again. <laughs> we should name that train Aaron Landry tonight, the way he's run <laughs> the ball. Hardo is sacked. Beautiful that is the first pressure. clean sack of the night. The Steve Wordly. Wordly. The Wordly train. Plummer with a fourth down. Well, you knew at some point he was going to bust through there and uh, and, so and get a hold of Pardo, and that time he did. That knocks him back to the 29 of Palmer, and they will have to boot it away with 10.13 to go. He's been having the defensive game of the night. And the boot goes out of bounds at about midfield. Not even. Yeah, I don't think it even get it. Didn't even get out of the frontier end, so... So the Red Hawks will take it over, first and 10. And I would expect that the game plan will be to take as much time off this clock as possible and get out of here with a win. It would be a good one for them. Well, it's certainly been, it's a well-earned victory. I mean, they've, they've pretty much, you know, they've run. Well, now I see it. It looks like uh, Bryce Dobas is limping off the field. That's not a good sign. Maybe it's just a cramp, we'll see. Hildreth, inside give. At the end of the third, he was grabbing his ankle and doing some stretching on Landry the sideline, I can see. And again, cramps not unusual this time of year when it's warm like this. Andrew Connors on the stop. Landry with three, the carry, and seven. picks up three. We'll bring up second and eight, second and seven rather, from the Landry again around left end. And, Landry and knocked out of bounds out around of bounds. the 30-yard line. Good for a first down. And number 82, Riley Williams. I'm playing slippery tonight. Very good for a Red yeah. Hawk first down. Well, I mean, if he, if those guys, those backs get the ends, 
It's going to be tough to bring him down. That's, that's just the way it is. He's a strong and powerful back. Ball spotted at the 33 of Palmer. Worldly goes in motion. And, Lan and Hildreth Perfect gets sacked. Good, good job by Andrew 52, Andrew Connors of Palmer, to get through there. Instant heat there. Yeah, he just he, he beat his man and got over the tackle. And that's going to knock him back. Hildreth couldn't have had time to throw the ball if he had thrown it the second he got the ball. Ball spotted at the a loss of five. Ball spotted at the 38-yard line of Palmer. The second and 15 for Frontier. Hildreth rolling out. Quick spring pass complete to Landry. Landry cuts back one way, breaks the tackle. That's the first completion for Hildreth. Kyle Gisler, completion is good for a hawk for Lucky to not get sacked there. Getting the pass off to Landry, who makes some nice moves. And that's going to spot them at the 15 of Palmer. It's, the 10 frontier. it's good for 23 yards. If they try these checkdowns more often to Landry, this could become a big part of the offense. Well, it certainly worked that time. From the Palmer 15-yard line. Hildreth. Again, to Landry. Off left tackle. Landry on the carry. He is close to the goal line. But just short. It's going to bring up first and goal from the two, it looks like. Riley Williams on a stop. First down, first and goal for Frontier. Again, very good power running. Yeah, it's been pretty much a dominant performance by the Red Hawks. They're clearly yep. their best and most dominant performance of the season. They've had to battle from behind the first two weeks. It's good to come out and blow somebody out for a change. Direct snap. Left corner. Touchdown. QB keeper. Garrett DeForest on a carry. Touchdown. Garrett DeForest, number 10, with the run on the direct snap. And that makes it 33 nothing. Garrett DeForest, the sophomore, runs it in with the two point, actually the one point conversion upcoming as Hildreth is going to kick it. Timeout. Frontier is going to call a timeout. Frontier. Second timeout in the second half. Again, a reminder coming up next Thursday night is Pack the House Night at Frontier for the volleyball game. We're going to be there with the coverage and the commentary. And we may very well, may very well have that live on YouTube. So if you're looking for that, be sure and get there, though. If you can come out to support your volleyball team. Hildreth is going to boot it here. He's one for one on extra point kicks tonight. And the seven, Matt Hildreth to attempt Worthy the point to after. hold. And they fake it. And a pass complete. Two point conversion from Frontier's been messing, up, messing with Palmer all day with configuration. So they fake it and they throw the. They throw the conversion pass. 728 remaining here in the fourth quarter. The score of the Red Hawks, 35. The Palmer Panthers up. So we're coming back to good for two. So we're coming back up the field with the pass from Worldly to Karen and Freeman, the big tight end. So a little bit of razzle dazzle there.
That makes it an even 35 nothing. With 7.28 to go in the game. So this one's pretty much academic, as we said. But that's, that's a nice little wrinkle they throw in there. The ball is spotted at the 45. It should be at the 40, actually. Unless there was a penalty I didn't know about. <laughs> there we go. Now, now we're ready to go. <laughs> I don't know if Brunty was trying to get away with something there or not. I was wondering, did I miss a five-yard a five penalty after that? But no. Worldly to boot it. End over end kick. Taken at about the 20. And actually, they put a knee down, so that's where they're going to spot it. Just outside the 20-yard line. Kick is down at the... Well, at this point, Palmer. Palmer's just playing for pride. This game's in the books. I don't well, they would like to, I would think, to get at least one score if they First can. Make Panthers. it look better. First and 10 at about the 21-yard line, which is where they'll start this series. <clears throat> at what point do you take the starters out? We'll see if that happens here. Flag, and what's the call? Too many players? Or they're they gonna actually gonna count. I wanna make sure there aren't too many players in the field. And it looks like Frontier well, had too many players. Five yard penalty. So it's gonna bring up first and five from the 26. First and five for the Panthers. Panthers have not committed a penalty in this game. Nashville is off tackle. Cal Messler is on the carry. And let's see if he got, well, maybe he got two or three, maybe we'll see where they spot it. Steve Wortley on a stop. Gain of three, second and two. Six forty-five to go in the game. 35 nothing. Frontier in command. Offset eye formation now. And double wide outs on the right side for Palmer. It's Pardo, long snap count. Fakes the handoff and is gonna fire it downfield. Pass is complete. Pardo's pass complete to number eight. Tensar. That's the longest completion of the night. Yes, it is. The carry is McMillan on a stop. Completion. That gets us into frontier territory. To the frontier 43. Maybe a little too late to get for Palmer to get their passing game going, but it's good for 28 yards though. And you're right, the longest completion of the night. Nothing bad about putting up a score here. For Pardo. Double wide outs on either side again. Masterless is the lone back. And he's going to get it off tackle. He's inside the 40 to about the 38. Keep working on a tackle. Going back to the roots of this game. Second and six. Round and pound up the gut running. Clock in motion, 5-10 to go in the game. 35 nothing Frontier. Palmer trying to get that goose egg off the scoreboard. The offset eye again. And the near side wide out is Ledoux for Palmer. Inside give to Masterless again, spins backwards and is down to about the 35. 33 for Palmer. Good for a four and making about a third and about two. 
long three from the 35 of Frontier. These next two player two, these next plays should be pretty crucial if they want to get that goose egg off the scoreboard. Two receivers on either side. Lone back is masterless. Behind Pardo. And Masterless gets it again off tackle. Gets a little bit of a hole. Gets first down yardage. And is brought down at about the 30-yard line. The carry is good for a Palmer first down. Gives him a new set of downs and another chance to score. That was good for six. Clock is in motion. Less than four minutes to play in this one. Same formation, actually trips to the right this time for Pardo. Nathos alone in the backfield. Pardo's going to roll out. And quick short pass is complete. And pass complete. nice tackle. Again, the heat from Worthley. Forcing him to throw it on the run. Penzar. But still gets the completion there. Matt it's good for three. Gain of three yards. Bring up seven. Second, and seven. second and seven from the 26. Of frontier. As the clock continues to tick. Now there's that blitz again. They give the ball to Masterless, and he's close to the first down. Wordley tried to hit the gap, but the zone that he was in before yeah. was the one that... You could just see him coming, too. I mean, he's <laughs> yeah. exploding out of the backfield. Ryan Hewitt on the stop for Frontier. He's going to bring up a third and one at about the 20 of the Frontier Red Hawks. Two and a half to go. The only question now is, will this be a shutout, or will Palmer put points on the board? Masterless again. Masterless on a carry. Lunges forward. Gets the first down, it looks like. Right. Carry good for a Palmer first down. At about the 16, 17 yard line. 17 yard line. Double wide outs on either side again. Masterless, the lone back. As Cardo tries to get his team going here. He drops the ball quick, picks it up. Cardo fires to the end zone. Complete, complete, but not in the end zone. It's going to bring up first and goal, though. Each second pressures if they want to get it off now. Short of the end zone. First and goal, Palmer. From the Hawk. Palmer got the goal line stand line. earlier. Now let's see if Frontier can do the same. That was a 15 yard completion. A minute to go in the game. Can the Red Hawks keep the shutout, preserve the shutout? Offset eye again. This has been the best drive of the night. In the gun. For Palmer. Saving the best for last, it looks like. Masterless over right tackle. Is he in? Touchdown. A Panther touchdown. Number 37, Cal Masterless for a two yard touchdown. And there goes the goose egg. Two yard touchdown run. So they. Shutout's broken with 39.5 seconds left to go in the game. Two point conversion attempt upcoming. Out of the shotgun again. And the handoff fake to Masterless. Rolling out Pardo, he's gonna be sacked. No, oh, gets the ball off. He's down, crawling on the floor. He got hit pretty hard, so. Red Hawks 35, Panthers 6. Gives 
Palmer something to build on for next week. Something to take out this game. So my guess is that we'll probably pick the ball off and take a couple of knees and say goodnight. But that gives Palmer something, like you said, to feel good about going back home. They don't go back home with a shutout. Under a minute left of football. Aaron Landry. Landry and Worley back deep for the Red Hawks. Back at their own 15. Hilbert back for Frontier. Oh, sorry, Hebert's, uh, Hebert's back there. End over end squib kick. Almost whiffed on it. Picked up at the 30. Edo McMillan spins back away. McMillan, McMillan down the right sideline. McMillan still on his feet. Flag Flying on the play. play. McMillan fumbles the ball out of bounds. It almost looked like he just threw it. He was <laughs> down. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a block in the back, I would think. That was just a disgusting spin. <laughs> Edo picked it up at the 33. And got down to about the... 41. Good for a 26 yard return. We'll and the block back. in the back is going to bring him back to the 50. So, first and 10 frontier from the 50, courtesy of the 10 yard block in the back penalty. And one knee should do the hook. trick here. And they are going to take an E. And this Final one's in the books. Score, the Final score from Frontier Regional School, the Frontier Red Hawks. A big opening night home win as they defeat the Palmer Panthers by a score of 35-6. to six. Touchdowns by Aaron Landry, who had three. Steve Wordley ran for a 49-yard touchdown. Garrett DeForest with a two-yard touchdown run. And Kyle Masterless for Palmer, breaking the shutout with less than 30 seconds left to go in the game. And that will do it. I thank my broadcast partner, Neil Dodona, and our crew, Kevin Murphy, the executive producer of Frontier Regional School Sports, Alec Echo, Crispin Driver Schroeder, and Matthew Stiles. I'm Chris Collins. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next time on Frontier Red Hawk Football on Frontier Community Access Television.